In this video, we're briefly summarizing the ratio test for the convergence of a series and then applying it to an example. So here's how the test goes. You look at the ratio of the next term to the previous term. So a n plus 1 divided by a n. You take the absolute value of that and then the large n limit of it, and you're going to get some limit out of that. If you end up with a limit less than 1, then it means the series converges absolutely. And if a series converges absolutely, it converges also in the ordinary sense. If you get a limit bigger than 1, it shows that the series diverges. If you get a limit equal to 1, the test is inconclusive and you have to try something else. So the ratio test is particularly valuable for dealing with factorial expressions. So using like direct comparisons and limit comparisons with factorials is an absolute nightmare. And the ratio test just makes it so easy. So let's look at how it works. I'm going to have the limit as n goes to infinity of the next term. So that's the n plus 1 term. So n plus 1 factorial squared over 2 times n plus 1 factorial divided by the nth term. So I'm going to divide by this expression right here, which is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So I get 2n factorial over n factorial squared. Now we need to split some terms off the factorials in the n plus 1 expression. So n plus 1 factorial is just n plus 1 times n times n minus 1 and so on. In other words, it's n plus 1 times n factorial. So n plus 1 factorial is just n plus 1 times n factorial, and I'm going to square that. I'm leaving my 2n factorial alone. And then in the denominator of that first half, I'm going to distribute the 2, and I end up with a 2n plus 2 factorial, and then I have an n factorial squared. And I can clean some things up. The n factorial squared cancels out. Now I realize that I can go after the 2n factorial in the numerator by just splitting off the first few terms of this factorial in the denominator. So I'm going to write it as 2n plus 2 times 2n plus 1. The next term is 2n, and then all the way down to 1, that's 2n factorial. So that's gone. Now I have a simple limit of a rational expression. If I go ahead and expand this, it's going to be an n squared plus 2n plus 1 in the numerator. And it's going to be a 4n squared plus 6n plus 2 in the denominator. And I'm going to treat this limit informally this time and say that the highest powers of n are going to dominate the numerator and denominator. That means as n becomes large, this is going to be a approximately n squared over 4n squared. Cancel those n's and I get 1 fourth out of it. So my limit settled down to a 1 fourth, which is less than 1. So we conclude that our original series is convergent.